Right, Chabosai, good morning. Let us begin. So we are picking up. And she sent out the sheets on uh, on on the WhatsApp chat. We're picking up today from page Reish Samech Dalid. So still in the Midva of Kiddusha, just uh, a few more days in Merit Sashem and Tolu Bisha, Tolu Mitzlach has finished the Sefer. So the Ramchal continues. He says, V'hin Choroe. You can see through everything that we've learned. Shederech Kinyas Zos Hamida Hu Ayide Rov HaPrisha so remember the manner in which so we've already spoken about the idea that the concept of Kiddusha which the ability to be able to infuse holiness and godliness into every single thing that we do is a twofold process we put in our effort but remember there's a fundamental recognition that that effort must be coupled with the help and assistance of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I can't do anything on my own, by myself. I absolutely require HaKadosh Baruch Hu to come and to aid me. So he says, the manner in which we continue to acquire this Midah is Rov HaPrisha, is the ability to separate from materialism. So remember again, let's take a step back. One of the incredible things that Ramchal mentioned is that one of the distinctions between Kiddusha and Tara is as follows. Whereas Tara purity seems to demand a separation from that which is physical, Kiddusha says, uplift that which is physical. You don't have to deny yourself it, you just have to lift it up. So here the Ramchal is qualifying that is that that's true, but nevertheless everyone would agree that the goal in life is to not get steeped in materialism. So to a certain degree a person should take what it is that he needs, and enjoy that which he needs, but not allow it ultimately again to become something so overwhelming that it consumes everything in life. So there's always an element of separation from the physical, separation from the mundane, in order that one does not get pulled into it. He goes on, he says, Furthermore, again, one must contemplate. One must contemplate, even out to me, literally contemplating deeply, or deep, yeah, contemplating deeply, with literally, I'll use a little translation over here, the secrets of divine providence, and the secrets of creation, so we'll say the idea is, I don't, I don't know what the secrets are that he's referring to, but at the end of the day, so he's, he's referring to whatever, whatever the secret Okay, the secrets aren't for us, but what he's talking on, focusing on over here is when a person begins to think about the fact that Hashem runs the world, Hashem created the world, the divine providence ultimately governs and dictates what happens with every detail in my life to this very day. So contemplation and thought regarding those things leads one to a closeness to Hashem. And when one does engage in the material world, and one does enjoy the material world, so the Ramchal says a person has to really give thought ultimately again to how to bring God into that physicality, to how to bring God into that mundanity, the same way that when a Kohen shechted an animal, he shechted a carbon, he slaughtered a carbon, but yet he was able to bring God down into that act of slaughtering and down into that animal and down into that consumption, that's the goal of the person who's pursuing Kedusha. The Zulas Zeh, and without these things. So let's remember again, let's understand what Ramchal, what Ramchal um, spelled out or laid out over here. So in order to acquire Kiddusha, he says, number one, Rova Prisha. Person has to ask themselves in the material world, what do I need? What don't I need? Whatever I need, enjoy. And by the way, of course, we know need is a very relative term. And that's okay. That, that's fine. I can need one thing. You can need something else. But number one, Whatever it is that you have, make sure it's quote unquote necessary. So enjoy what you need. Step one. Step two, contemplation of divine providence. Think about the Ribbana Shal Olam as a creator 
and how divine providence governs your life. When you think about those things, where is HaKadosh Baruch Hu present in your life? Where do you see God in your life? Where do you see God in your circumstances? How do you see divine providence manifest itself throughout the day? Think about those things and you will feel closer to Hashem. Step number three, bring God into your material life. The same way that the Kohen, it's, it's, it's incredible, he mentioned this before, the Kohen's day was very much consumed by material endeavors. Shechting karbana, sprinkling blood, burning offerings, right? the carbon mincha, the carbon chatos, the animal offerings, the meal offerings, the eating it, the receiving of the hides, the giving out of the matnos kuhuna, all the different things, all physical things, yet he was able to infuse incredible godliness into those things. That's our job, to bring godliness into the material. So says Namchal, focus on these three things, and a person will achieve an incredible level of connection to Hashem. He goes on, he says, Without these three steps, one cannot acquire the Mida of Kiddusha. And a person, unfortunately, will just remain physical, material, like all other people. Who is Bodidus va Prisharaba. So we'll say Sadam the Ramchal brings down something which he's spoken about many times throughout the Sefer. And to really acquire the Sefer, one of the things that's very helpful, he says, is his Bodidus, having time alone with yourself. Having time alone with yourself, time alone to think. Va Prisharaba, separating yourself from other people. Kadeshabe either Hamachidim, Tuchal Naf Sholeh Kabri Oser. Because sometimes when you remove the things which kind of weigh on you, you're able to think. So we'll say, this is very profound. What's the Ramchal saying? That really in order to fully internalize these ideas, a person has to give themselves time to think. Who has time to think? We're running all over the place, right? So we'll say, it's an incredible thing. I think, you know, when this whole current matzav started, I think many of us thought that we would have a lot more time, right? Person's not going into work, person's working from home, right? More time, and the truth is, it's, it's like just the opposite. It's an incredible, incredible thing. There's actually like, not, there's not, it's not quote unquote less time, but just everything has become so overwhelming that for, for many of us, there's actually less time to think, there's less time to contemplate. But says the Ramchal, at the end of the day, if you want to be successful in life, you have to carve out time for his bodidus. A person has to carve out time to be for themselves. So whether it's that a person finds a few precious quiet moments to go out, you know, into their backyard or something, and just close your eyes and close out the world or think, or a person takes a walk, even just by themselves for a few minutes, just to clear your head and to think about these three, these three things how can I separate from the material things that I don't need? How, where do I see God's creative power? And how do I see divine providence in my life? And ultimately, again, how do I bring God, how do I bring God down into the material world? Just to think about these things day in and day out allows me ultimately to internalize them and allows me to actualize them. But without, and again, all he adds in over here. He adds it over here. He says, Without the ability to think about these things and to dwell on these things and to really just give a thought, it's impossible to internalize them. And if it's impossible to internalize them, then unfortunately, again, that makes the acquisition of Kiddusha itself a bit more difficult. Right? Well, so we'll have to stop over here. We'll continue. My, my goal is that in Mirat Hashem, by Wednesday, we'll finish the safer. That's uh, that's the goal. So between tomorrow and uh, between tomorrow and Wednesday, we'll finish. Yeshkach Abosah will stop here. I'll pick up on page Reish Samech Dala tomorrow. Shkoyach.